Now, this one's interesting, Brad, because a ring around a distant dwarf palant is challenging our idea of how moons are formed. Can you explain that to us? Yeah, so, you know, when we think of Pluto, you know, we just think of kind of this thing that got kicked out of the planet cup by itself, but there's actually lots of dwarf planets out there. And, and one of them in particular, Quar, um, it's really far away compared to Pluto. But now recently they discovered uh, a ring system around it, essentially a bunch of pebbles and rocks forming around it. And what becomes really critical here is it's past the point where we would expect this to exist. So if you get so close to a planet or dwarf planet, the gravity of that object crumbles and breaks it apart. In fact, we think this is going to happen to the moons of Mars. Mars has two small moons that are slowly getting closer. And when they do, they'll reach a point where gravity breaks it up. But these are much further out than that point. So they actually should have formed moons where over time bits clump together. So they get heavier, they get more gravity, they pull more, and then therefore they grow into small moons. But clearly this isn't the case. So it's really starting to show that, well, maybe there's a lot more range of materials out there, maybe stuff that doesn't stick together as well, because all of this is really frozen ice. So maybe there's some unique um, types of ice essentially out there around these moon or dwarf planet systems that don't quite follow the normal process of forming moons. So this is really critical for understanding all of those dwarf planets, all of those things like Pluto, how they formed and how their entire systems formed because Pluto itself has five moons and it raises a lot of questions.